everyone! This video is a video for children in Scramblers. My name's May and it's really lovely to have you with us. What you'll need to watch this video is a Bible and it would be great if you had a pen and a paper nearby and maybe something to draw with because there's an activity you could do later on which you'll need those for. Well guys, shall we start off with our song? We're going to stretch to the left and stretch to the right. Let's do it. Ready? Stretch to the left. Stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. Wind up your ears. Wind up your ears. Open up your eyes. And open up your eyes. It's time to listen. It's time to listen to our Father God. Open up the Bible. Open up the Bible, doesn't matter where. Ready to be taught. On your feet if you're not already. Stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. Wind up your ears. And open up your eyes. It's time to listen to our Father God. Open up the Bible, ready to be taught. Sit down, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for the Bible. Thank you that it's so exciting to read it together. Please would you change us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lovely. We're going to start off with a little game, okay? I'm going to show you two pictures. And I need you to decide which picture tells us about God. So, is God good or is God bad? Is he good or is he bad? Why don't you point to the picture you think it is? Is God good or is he bad? That's right, God is really good. Is God mean or is God kind? Is he mean or is he kind? Which one is it? That's right, God is really kind. Is God strong or is God weak? Is he strong or is he weak? That's right, God is really strong. He could do anything. Is God loving or not loving? Is God loving or is he not loving? He's really loving, isn't he? Is God mean and does he get angry quickly or is he full of mercy? Does God get angry quickly or is he full of mercy? That's right, he's full of mercy. God is so kind. He is so kind to bad sinners. And you know, boys and girls, I'm a bad sinner. I haven't treated God in the right way. But God is so full of mercy. Do you know who this is a picture of? Who's that? It's Jesus, isn't it? And what's he doing in this picture? He's dying on the cross, that's right. He died on the cross many years ago. And I have asked Jesus to save me and to take away my sin. Do you think Jesus has saved me? Yes, Jesus saves anybody who asks him. You can ask Jesus to save you. Jesus has shown me so much mercy. He's shown me so much mercy. So because Jesus has shown me so much mercy, because Jesus is so kind to me, do you think I love Jesus or do you think I don't love Jesus? That's right, I love Jesus. And do you think I try to listen to Jesus or do you think I don't listen to Jesus? 
Do you think I try to listen to Jesus? Yeah, I try and listen to Jesus. I try and listen to Jesus. And do you know how we listen to Jesus? How do we listen to Jesus? We can't hear him speaking out loud. What book can we read to listen to Jesus? There's a very special book we can read to listen to Jesus. The Bible. That's how we listen to Jesus. When we read the Bible, that's how we listen to Jesus. And you might need a help from a grown-up to do this, but I want you to open up to Romans chapter 12 and I want you to look at verse 10 and maybe you can pause the video and read the first three words of Romans chapter 12 verse 10. Why don't you pause the video and do that now? Did you read it? Did you see what Jesus says in the Bible? He tells us to love one another. Romans chapter 12 verse 10. Love one another. What does Jesus say we should do to one another? What does it say we should do for one another? Shall I read it again? We should love one another. Love one another. What should we do? For one another? We should love one another. We should love one another. Jesus says love one another. Here's a heart to remind us. Love one another. And can you put your hand on your heart like this? Love one another. Can you say it with me? Love one another. Now, should we listen to Jesus or should we not listen to Jesus? We should listen to Jesus. And Jesus tells us to love one another. Jesus is saying we should love our church family. Our church family are the people who go to our church. So it's the other boys and girls in Scramblers and it's our Scramblers teachers. So I'm in your church family, Nancy's in your church family, Yonis is in your church family, Shirley is in your church family, and Pung is in your church family. We are your church family. And I'm sure that you can think of some other people who are in your church family. Grown up, you can maybe pause the video and chat to your child about who is in your church family. Why don't you pause the video and think of some people who are in your church family. What does Jesus say we should do for our church family? What should we do for our church family? We should love one another. We should love our church family. So maybe when you're next going for a walk in the park, maybe you go on the slide or the swings or you're just going for a walk in the forest and you see somebody from your church family, do you think you should wave and say hello? Yeah, you can wave and say hello and go and speak to them. Do you think you should ignore them and say, oh, I, I'm too busy, I don't have time to speak to that person? No, that's right, we should wave to them and go and speak to them and say we miss them. We want to love our church family. What about when we're praying? Maybe before we go to bed or when we wake up, before we go to school. We might pray for ourselves, mightn't we? We might pray for our mummies and our daddies and our friends. Do you think we should pray for people in our church family? Yeah, we should pray for our church family. Maybe at the end of this video, or now you could pause it, write down the name of three people from your church family and pray for them every day this week. Pray for them. Pray that they would love Jesus and listen to him.
That would be a great thing. That would be a great way to love your church family. Now, do we get to see people from our church family at the moment? No, we can't meet together like normal, can we? That's why we're watching these videos. But if your grown-up would like to, you could send a message to somebody in your church family. If your mummy or your daddy say it's okay, maybe you could write them a message on your computer or on your mummy or daddy's phone, and you could write a message to somebody in your church family to say hello and to say we miss you and we love you, to ask them how they are. That would be another way to love one another, to love our church family. So, is Jesus mean or is he full of mercy? He's full of mercy, isn't he? Jesus is so kind. He's died on the cross. He's died on the cross so that anybody can trust in him. So do we want to listen to Jesus or not listen to Jesus? We want to listen to Jesus, don't we? Because we love him. And Jesus says we should love one another. We should love one another. We should love our church family. Shall I pray and ask Jesus to help us love one another? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for showing us so much mercy. Please help us to listen to you because we love you. Please help us to love our church family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lovely. Well, it's been great to have you guys. I'll be praying for you this week because you're my church family and I hope that you can pray for me as well. We will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.